Yeah. Welcome back to Pokemon Adventures with Blood and Glitches. Yeah, go back up in Sprout Tower. I don't need Sprout Tower. HM for fucking Flash. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Are you positive? Yes. Also, if it's nighttime in yours, you can catch another ghastly. It is not nighttime in mine. Well, I guess you can't get that fucking ghastly. Also, if I remember right, we fight the, uh... Rival here, too. I don't know. All I know is I'm going back to Sprout Tower, like you said, because it better be there. It's all the way at the top, yeah. All the way at the top, he says. Oh. If he's wrong, everyone, make fun of him in the comments. And I mean, like, be merciless. He enjoys it. He's a masochist. He would get a boner. Some days. The meaner you are, the harder he gets, the farther he comes. This isn't the coom cave. <laughs> Sage Nico sent out Bellsprout. I'm using fast forward to go back and forth to the Pokemon Center. You what? I'm using fast forward to get back and forth to the Pokemon Center. That's fine. That's an acceptable use. Oh! Togepi got Metronome. Hey, there you go. That's something. It can either be the best move ever or the worst move ever. It's not normally in between. Paralyze heal. Good shit. Chow. Ka chow. Fury swipes. Hit twice. Oh. Muse metronome. Cross chop. That's a strong move. Yeah, that's really good. I'd have been great against Winona. Togepi's already level 8. There you go. This is fantastic. There's only five more metronomes, though, so Togepi won't be able to do it for... Is that Solar Beam? I think that's a Solar Beam. Togepi took in sunlight. Oh, my God. Togepi, <laughs> no. Bellsprout is a grass type. It's Don't. 120. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. It did nothing. Well, I was wrong. I apologize. I thought I was going to do something. Scary face. Speed sharply fell. Oh boy. Okay. I will switch you out, Togepi. There we are. Just because your fucking randomness is not doing well. Quilava. Fuck you and having a mobile 14 already. Grinding man, I'm leveling up. Burb at the moment, cause uh, he gets hypnosis. I mean, that grinding is amazing that we can do. Yeah. All right, so final challenge. I should be good enough for Whitney. You would say that. <laughs> but I know now that I've said I never had any problems against her, That's that means I'm going to have problems against her. Yeah. That's how YouTube magic works. Right? Like I said, I never had issues with Faulkner, and I lost twice. <laughs> oh, I've never had a wipe. Two party wipes in a row. Exactly. See? That's oh. how YouTube magic works. Gotta love the YouTube <laughs> recording shit. It just tries to fuck you over as much as it can. Every chance it gets.
Oh, he got a hoot hoot. I didn't want to run back to the Pokemon Center, so I just used two potions to recover. There you go. Super effective. Edmund, really? Who would trust a monk named Edmund? Oh, there he is. Come on, Togepi, get good metric. Leech life. <laughs> he used really? escape rope from Cheater. Bubble. Bubble. Really? My bird died. No! Onions level 11. Good shit. Arthur. Yes, change out Pokemon because we want Togepi to level up. Do, 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 do. Sagely's dead. My mic keeps slowly falling. And I got a flash. I think mine does too. <laughs> it's just not strong enough arm to hold it up. Because the uh, I'm using the Yeti Snowball. Blood's using the Yeti... Uh, uh, the $120 version. I don't remember. Togepi grew to level 9! But both mics are super fucking heavy. They are, and they don't like the stand at all. At all. I already caught you, Gasly. Fuck off. Jin. I like Sage Jin. His name reminds me of alcohol. <laughs> alcohol is good. Oh, his bell sprout used growth. What an effective move. It's a good strat, but it's not your shit. It's not effective when you got Quilava. Valid. That fire gonna do it. Uh, but let's see. I am going to pull up one random current event, and me and Blood are going to talk about it. Oh. I'm literally just Googling current event. <laughs> and then I'm going to scroll down. Uh, there we go. Do, 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 There we go. Oh, my God. This one's going to be great. Oh. Yup. Do you want to know what it is? What's that? Do you really want to know what it is? Yes, I want to know what it is. Oh, you really want to know? Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, at least you didn't say. Editing says not going like this. <laughs> Guys, we blipped ourselves out for saying non bad words. Non YouTube words. It's, li <laughs> it's literally just a joke. Calm down. We didn't actually say anything bad. Hike your pants up. Anyway, what do you want? <laughs> okay, so the current event that I have is teachers. How do you handle cra classroom conversations about hot button issues? Oh. Um. Yes. Okay. So eight years ago, in response to what we then described as unprecedented vitriolic presidential campaign we published a series called talking across divide okay this is this is boring apparently well then let's think about that because we can use that as a jumping off topic if you were a teacher how would you handle hot button issues and mostly the hot button issues i can think of would be furries trans and uh homosexuality people gonna fuck who they gonna fuck <laughs> Well, see, there was one school, I remember, that had trouble with uh, furries going around biting and scratching people, wearing dog collars, and demanding litter boxes. Okay, well, that's a little bit over the top. 
and the principal didn't care because the principal's daughter was one of the furries. That'll do it. <laughs> so, now we're getting onto the hot button issue of what to do about these things in school. First off, I think homosexuality, not an issue, non-issue, love whoever you want, hate whoever you want, yep. that's how life goes. Uh, trans, um, personally, I think you shouldn't be allowed to do conversion therapy until you're old enough to be considered an adult because it's a really big decision and there's been lots of people who have Regretted done it early. Yep. And when they did it early, they decided they didn't want it. And there's even some people that have sued over that. Yep. Uh, it's it's a thing. Because um, it costs a fuck ton of money. It does permanent damage to your body. It's almost impossible to reverse. Yeah, and like, sometimes it's weird. Because even at age 31, I'm 31 years old. And I'm not trans, but I do want a pair of big old titties of my own. Well, everybody wants a big old pair of titties. But I still can't really make that decision because, I, didn't, you know, it weird everybody out. Yeah. But, you know, if I had my own titties, then I wouldn't have to rely on Melissa. <laughs> well, you made the sex joke in the last episode. About I don't want a sex change. I want to keep my penis. I said sex joke. <laughs> Sex joke. He's so funny. Hi, <laughs> whoop. Um, oh, I gotta get whoop out of the piece. So I think that maybe if you are a teenager and you're trans, you should be allowed to be called by your preferred pronouns. I'm okay with that, but I don't think you should be able to do sex change surgery until you're really old enough to decide on that, because that's a long-term decision. Mm. That's not something that you can just decide on a whim. Yeah. See, I'm against the whole pronoun thing because pronouns are supposed to be used for, like, when you're talking about somebody. And if I don't give a shit about you, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> so, essentially, what you're saying is, is pronouns don't matter just because you don't care about people. Yeah. Okay, fair point. Everybody's a dude or that one person. Or I use your name, if I care to learn your name. Honestly, I don't think pronouns should be even a thing. No. I think we should just describe everybody as they slash them and their name. Because honestly, I don't care what I'm described as. I just want people to actually know my fucking name <laughs> if they're talking to me, you know? Right. 